What's up guys and welcome to my week two challenge guide here in Fortnite. So uh, week two is only a few hours away. It's going to be launching is super early tomorrow morning, but I wanted to give you guys the lowdown a little bit early, let you guys know what these challenges are and how you're going to be able to complete them because we've got a couple of new ones here that we haven't seen before and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So hope you guys are ready for this, uh, this second week grind and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first two things I want to mention, just kind of like generic tips here. Number one is never back out of the game when you're trying to complete challenges because they will not count. You can't go through the menu system and leave the game. You either have to be eliminated by an enemy or you have to eliminate yourself, like build up and drop off and you know kill yourself from fall damage or whatever else, jump off the side of the map, it doesn't matter. Just do not leave the game through the menu system. And uh, the second thing I wanna say is usually 50v50 is a good way to complete these challenges just because I don't know, like it, it kind of splits the map in half, so if you can do that challenge on one half the map, you essentially cut the player base in half and there aren't going to be as many people going to that spot to try to complete that challenge. So just keep that in mind for a few of these. But uh, starting off, the first challenge we have this week is to deal 1,000 damage with assault rifles and uh, this one's just super easy. I mean, this is not one you have to think about. I almost guarantee you by the time you complete the other six challenges, you're already going to have this one done. So really, don't even think about it. Just play normally. You're definitely going to get this one just by normal gameplay. Now, moving on to the second challenge we have, you have to search seven ammo boxes in a single match. Now, while this does sound a little bit intense, like that's quite a few ammo boxes, it's really not that difficult. Again, 50v50 is a godsend here. It's super, super close. Clutch. So what you want to do is just hop into 50v50 and land at a spot that's like a, a big named spot that has a bunch of buildings and stuff, but that most people won't go to. Like in this example right here, you guys can see most people are going to be going down towards the, the new desert biome and all, you know, some of the other places like retail and stuff like that. I doubt many teammates are going to be going to Lonely Lodge, so that's where I'm going to go here. I land up in the tower, get a few ammo boxes there, then kind of check some of the other little huts and, and, you know, little random spots around. And then finally, I'll go to the main big lodge and we'll get the last couple. And uh, this was super easy. I mean, it took absolutely no time at all. This was my first time trying to do this. And uh, you guys could do the same. So no matter where you are on the map, just go to a big named area or an area where a couple of areas are together. Like you could hit Junk Junction and the Haunted Hills. I guarantee you'd get it there. If nobody's gonna be up towards like Risky Reels, you could do that. Um, you know, obviously places like Tilted Towers, Greasy Grove, stuff like that are gonna have a lot of these, but they're also gonna have a lot of people. So try to stick to the outskirts, go somewhere where none of your teammates are gonna be going. Obviously it's 50v50, so you're not gonna have any enemies there, and you're just gonna be able to run around and get these things no problem. So super easy one if you do it like that. Moving on to our next challenge, you've gotta get three eliminations in Paradise Palms. And uh, that's the gameplay you guys are seeing in the background here. So Paradise Palms is really interesting. It's like the East Coast version of Tilted Towers. It's starting to calm down a little bit from what it once was when it first came out last week, but it's still a pretty poppin' area. So really, you just you have to be one of the first people to the ground and get a close range weapon, get a shotgun, get an SMG. I mean, there's a lot of building to build in close quarters combat fighting going on in this area. So if you can get a decent shotgun right off the start, you should be able to clean up these three kills pretty easily. Another thing you could do if you're kind of struggling a little bit is you could land at one of the small spots outside of Paradise Palms and then you could get some loot, get your armor, get your weapons, whatever else, and then rift your way into Paradise Palms and you can come in, you can look down, you can pick an unsuspecting victim and swoop in and get those kills. So really shouldn't be too hard land there a few times, you should be able to get this no problem. Moving on to our next one, this one's really interesting. You've got to score baskets on five different basketball hoops. So obviously to be able to complete this, you need to have the basketball toy unlocked. You've got to equip it on your emote, and uh, then you've got to drop down and score some baskets. And honestly, this one's not gonna be hard at all. There are a ton of basketball hoop locations around the map. You just have to know where they are. So we're gonna go through these. So starting off here, the first one I went to was down in Snobby Shores. Now, the thing is, is some locations have like a full court with two basketball hoops. I'm not sure if those count individually. Like if we hit both here, is it gonna count as two scores or is it just by location? If you guys find out, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But yeah, you guys can see there are two here. We're gonna say technically, I'm not sure if it counts as two, but it might. Uh, and then right next to that, we're gonna go over to the one over by like the indoor soccer field, the, the pool and stuff like that. There's another full court there. And uh, then we've got quite a few other ones around the map. So you've got Tilted Towers, Junk Junction, 
Greasy Grove, the house on top of the hill over by Fatal Fields, Retail Row, the trailer park, and then finally the Paradise Palms cul-de-sac. Here's a map of all those locations, and uh, I mean, like I said, there's a ton of these things, so it really shouldn't be that difficult, especially if you're going to some of the more outlying ones. I mean, like, going to Tilted and trying to shoot hoops is probably not a good idea, but if you're landing Snobby and Junk Junction and the house on top of the hill and areas like that, you're not going to have a problem with this. You're going to be able to get it super easy. So uh, good luck. And also, I mean, you have to land at Paradise Palms to get the three kills. You might as well knock out one of the hoops when you land there. Just keep that in mind. But anyway, moving on to our next challenge, you've got to get seven chests in Loot Lake. Now, these can be in different matches, but you got to search seven chests in total. And uh, we're going to go through all the chests because I was lucky enough to find a game right here where every single chest had spawned. So starting off with the middle house here, you're going to have one up here in the attic. There's also one just below that in the upstairs bedroom. There's one that spawns on the side of this island here, right down here on this little ledge. And then finally, of course, I'm sure you guys know, there's one hidden back here in the tunnel. So you've got that. Uh, moving on, we're gonna go over to the factories. These do end up counting. There's one up in the top of this building up here. As you guys can see right there. There's gonna be a couple over in this building, one that spawns up top. And then there's one down here, down below. And then there's also one actually outside in this little fenced in area. So you can check those out. Moving on, other major structures and landmarks. There is a couple over here in the lake house. So obviously there's gonna be one down in the garage. That one's pretty easy. You've got one over here in the lookout watchtower. And then there's one that not as many people know about down in this shed right next to the lake, which is kind of cool. Now next to that, you've also got one here at the uh, the campsite. There's one or two that might spawn out here on this island. And then finally, you've got some locations actually in the lake. So there are two over here on the turd rock. Kind of a funny call out. And then you've also got one that spawns in each of the floating boats. Now these are probably the least you know, easy ones to access here. They're very, very you're vulnerable when you're running across the water like this, but there's one there and uh, then there's one over here. So there are quite a few locations where you can pick up chests, really not all that difficult. And again, like I said, if you're in 50 v 50 and one of the teams kind of has more of Loot Lake than the other one, that's gonna be a good spot to go because you're gonna be able to get these easy and uh, not too many people land at Loot Lake. Obviously there will be more with this challenge, but uh, it shouldn't be too hard now that you guys know where they're at. Now our next challenge is gonna be one of the ones where you have to search for treasure. We don't have a treasure map this week, but we do have a clue to search between an oasis, a rock archway, and dinosaurs. So uh, this one is fairly easy. I'm sure a lot of you guys could have figured this one out, but so uh, it's gonna be over here in the desert biome. So obviously this is the oasis right here, this big beautiful area with all the palm trees and the blue water. The rock archway is right here. And then the dinosaurs are located right over here. So if we zoom up a little bit, you guys can see the middle of these three areas is going to be pretty much right down in here. And uh, granted, I'm making this a little bit early and we can't be 100% sure where this star is going to spawn yet. It is probably going to be on one of these rocks. I would expect it to be here or here or here, I kinda, I don't know. There's something that tells me it's gonna be this one. Technically, it could also be up on top of this hill. I don't think it's gonna be there. Like I said, I think it's gonna be on top of one of these rocks. If that changes, I will leave a comment and I'll like pin it or something so you guys can see. I'm making this video the night before these come out so we can't be 110% sure, but this is definitely the area that it's gonna be in. So uh, just keep a lookout. And then finally, last but not least, the final challenge is to simply get two sniper rifle eliminations. So if you're good with the sniper, you're obviously gonna be able to get that really, really easily. Pick up a, a you know a normal sniper, the semi-auto sniper, which was recently buffed, or even the hunting rifle counts for this. So pick up any of those, get two eliminations, it's gonna be easy. Now, if you aren't quite as good with the sniper rifle, I'm pretty sure what you can do is go into a team-based mode, and I think 50v50 is probably gonna be the easiest for this as well. Try to find an enemy that's kind of off by himself, take him out with any sort of weapon. So an assault rifle or grenade launcher, anything else, get him down to his knees when he's in the down but not out state, and then pull your sniper rifle out and eliminate him after he's already knocked. 
and that should count towards that challenge. That should be a really easy way to get it, but uh, if not, just try to get those eliminations. It's really not that hard. So anyway, there you guys have it. That's my challenge guide for this week. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Drop a like if it did. Subscribe if you're new around here, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Good luck getting those challenges, and uh, peace out, guys.